No, uh, we have met him with certain expectations. That's how we have accepted the invitation. And we got an opportunity to talk about the issues, our concerns, and we got an opportunity to listen to Honorable Prime Minister and Home Minister as well. But there are certain expectations as well. We feel whatever has been done on 5th August 2019 and onwards, that is unconstitutional, undemocratic. We will continue our struggle, utilizing every opportunity and every forum. Supreme Court of India, we have already approached. Parliament has one more biggest forum. And there are other forums as well. We will continue our struggle peacefully to restore, to get our constitutional rights restored. But besides that, Government of India, we had urged upon to take some confidence building measures. Kashmiris and Dogras and Ladakhis are disappointed. For the last two years, they feel neglected on every front. Take certain measures which are required to, for the citizens of this country and which are required to build up the trust which is not on the ground seen anywhere. And we demanded that the restrictions imposed are it should not look like uh, a state of uh, bureaucrats. It should not look like uh, some officers, whether in police or civil services, are can misuse their authority. That should not look like. And secondly, there is there are a number of prisoners, both inside Jammu Kashmir jails and outside. Steps must be taken. Initiate initiative must be taken by the government of India to release them, to review their cases, to provide some relief those who are affected. And Last. Now there are rumors. Number one, number two, the process of election, if if at all it is to be credible, then the assurances made on the floor of the house by Honorable Home Minister of India, and then Prime Minister of India, is all also committed that full statehood will be restored to Jammu and Kashmir why it is being delayed. So that's why we have decided we will approach all the political parties in Jammu and Kashmir to create a common ground and to demand with one voice that before elections the statehood must be restored which is the legitimate demand of all the regions and all the communities of the of Jammu and Kashmir. Sir, if we will we will meet again then we will talk to you.